clever bet just the other day I had no idea what was coming my way I played a chance for sinning we had W Afternoons with Dennis Walter. Of course, the fifth and final test to the Ashes series got underway last night. And one man who's been touring with the Australian squad and writing about it each week in the Herald Sun is cricket legend Warwick Todd. And for those not familiar with Warwick, he's one of our longest serving batsmen. He holds the ICC record for the most match fines, over $27,000 in penalties so far. And Warwick is currently in London, where I believe it's about 4.30 in the morning, but he's agreed to take our call. Uh, Warwick, good morning. Uh, good day, Bruce. Or is it Phil? No, it's Dennis Walter. Oh, Afternoons. Dennis. Dennis. Oh, sorry, Dennis. And just to correct you, it's um, it's twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars. I copped a whack last night for racially abusing Kevin Peterson, but didn't we all? It's been a tough tour for the Aussies. Uh, how, how have you found it? Oh, well, you know, it's look, it's the ashes. You know, despite the uh, the difficulties, it's it's the ultimate for any cricketer. It's it's what we you know from the day we start in the backyard, uh, we dream of it, an Ashes series, and you know from then on, it's all. It's all downhill, retirement, you know, uh, dancing with the stars, whatever, whatever the future holds. But right now, I'm <laughs> relishing every moment of it. Three nil down. What's the what's the team spirit like? Look, it's it's it's, it's good, Dennis. We're we're uh, we're still united. Uh, uh, Pup and Watto are now prepared to travel on the same bus, so that's that's been a, bi- a big breakthrough <laughs> for us all. And look, even though we've lost the series, you know, we've we've still got a lot to a lot to play for. I'm a I'm a I'm a true blue patriotic sort of bloke, and you know, when I go out to bat and. Uh, I look down at that logo on my uh, on my cricket shirt, VB, and I, you know, I, I know what I'm playing for. <laughs> you must have been, though, seriously though, you must have been bitterly disappointed to lose the Ashes. Look, look, it was obviously, uh, you know, yes, it was a blow. No, I, I, no one could have been more disappointed than me, except maybe that uh, Indian bookmaker I had ten grand with that we would lose. He's, uh, I think, he is still hurting. Uh, what, what have you found to be the biggest challenge in this tour so far? Look, it's um, obviously coping with English wickets. Is, it's always it's always uh, tough, and uh, uh, coming up with a nickname for Usman Khawaja that's been keeping us, uh, you know, pretty busy. Uh, actually, the heat, Dennis, has been the other thing. It's been very warm over here in uh, in the UK, and and, um, and sunburn's been a big issue. A lot of the English fans uh, are not really, you know, heeding the slip slop slap message, and they they turn totally red, and then you you find you can't pick up the ball against a, a sea of sizzled supporters in the in the stand. It's it's a challenge. <laughs> uh, just give us a bit of a snapshot. Like life, life on tour. How many in the touring party? Oh well, um, uh, obviously there's you know us players, and we've, we've got our coach Bulf, uh, fitness advisor. Who else? Matt, uh, Matt Seuss. Got a couple of media managers. They're mainly dealing with Davy Warner. Um, we did have a motivational psychologist, <laughs> but uh, he's been sent home suffering from clinical depression. So we're down a few. Um, you've got a new coach as well, Darren Lehman. How's Bulf, that going? Bulf, yeah, look, he's he's, uh, he's a top bloke. I've, I've played with Bulf over the years, and. Uh, and not everyone's agreed with, you know, some of his measures. His, uh, you know, the decision to ban smoking at net sessions is still causing uh, reverberations throughout the squad. But uh, I think we're moving forward. Um, interesting story in the news last week. A colleague of yours, Nathan Bracken, mm-hmm. is running uh, in the election as an independent. Has Warwick Todd ever considered maybe politics? Well, yeah. Look, I uh, yes is is the short answer, Dennis. I have considered a career in politics. I was once actually asked to stand for the Labor Party. Uh, funnily enough, the request came from the Liberals, so I'm not quite sure what to what to make of that. How is the election going over there? I believe that uh, did, uh, Tony Abbott told Kevin Rudd to shut up. Uh, yes, in a, a bit of a, um, a word stoush last night. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, good. Good. He got the message. Uh, do you think he can win this last test? Oh, absolutely. I'm confident. I'm pumped. I mean, Watto's. 176 last night. Did you see that uh, magnificent, uh, magnificent century? It's really, really uh, set us up. And he was hit in the head twice, once by a Chris Broad bouncer and then again by a nightclub bouncer after he refused to put his guitar away at the post-match celebration. <laughs> but uh, we're, uh, we're, we're set for a big win, Dennis, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, Warwick, I know you are friendly with um, a brilliant and very funny man in Tom Gleisner. Mm. Can you please say hi to him and thank him? He's just done something really great for us this afternoon. Oh, good on you. I'm seeing him this afternoon, Dennis. He's giving me my peptide shot, so I'll, I'll have a word to him then. Excellent, Warwick. Lovely to have you on the show. Good on you, Dennis. Time.